What is up? It is me once again, and it is Saturday afternoon, December 25th, Christmas Day, of course, 2021, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon right now. And basically, in this video, I am going to be showing you all what I got for Christmas this year so far. Now, I will say I do have a pretty decent amount of stuff to show you guys that I got so far. But the thing is, this is not all what I'm getting for Christmas this year. You know, I have to leave in like half an hour to go have, you know, dinner with my cousin, my uncle, and my mother at Applebee's. And the chances are they are going to be giving me some late Christmas presents. And so when I get home with the late Christmas gifts, I will do a separate video showing those off. But yeah, anyways, enough with the chit chat. Let's just go on ahead and get started. Starting off with the DVDs and the CDs I got. <clears throat> now the first album I got is... ACDC Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. And which this album is from 1976, but the CD itself is from... 2003, I believe. Yeah. And which I have to say, I honestly prefer the Bon Scott era of ACDC more than the Brian Johnson era. Now, I'm not saying that Brian Johnson is bad. He's not. He's awesome as well, but... I just thought, you know, Brian Johnson was a lot better. You know, I like the saining, the style, and a bunch of that other shit. And I just thought it kicked more ass with, you know, Bon Scott than it did with Brian Johnson. And honestly, there's not one single bad, you know early ACDC album out there. You know, I pretty much like all of them, in my personal opinion. So, yeah. And which, what can I say about this album? This album is nothing but a classic. It also has some of their biggest hits on here including some of my favorite songs and which I am going to get into right now. And also, you know, last year I got, you know, ACDC's um, Back in Black album, but now I have, you know, their third album, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap now, and which this is an album I have been wanting to get for years, and I finally managed to get it, thank God. And my favorite songs on this album are obviously, you know, the title track, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, which is a amazing song, you know, it's a really cool and awesome song. You know, I like the vocals by Bon Scott and also the guitar work as well. I pretty much like everything about it, you know. This song is just a masterpiece. Definitely one of their most recognizable songs to a lot of people out there. You know... You know, such a kick-ass song. And I remember, you know, I first heard this song on the radio back in late 2011. 
when I was in our old black Cadillac that we had back in the day. I was just sitting in there with my dad, you know, on our way to go have lunch at McDonald's. And this song came on the radio, I remember. And I listened to the whole song from the beginning to the end. And I really liked it. And so when I got home that day, I went on my computer to, you know, one of my dad's files and listened to this whole album. And I basically liked every song on here, but the thing is, I barely remember most of the songs on here except for a couple, which are obviously Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. And one other, which I'm about to get into right now, which is Big Balls. Honestly, what can I say about this song? I have to say it's a pretty good song, you know? I also do kind of find it hilarious due to the fucking, you know, lyrics, if you ask me. But yeah, Big Balls is a pretty awesome song. I like it for the most part. And yeah... Just give me one second while I try to get the booklet back in. I meant get the booklet out. What the fuck am I saying? Oh shit. I forgot to put the disc back in. God, I'm losing my fucking mind today. Okay, now I'm going to go through this real quick. Okay, now hold on a second while I try to get the booklet back in. There we go. The next album I got is
Michael Jackson Thriller, and which this album is, ugh, and which this album is from 1982, but the but the CD itself is from 2014. And which, you know, fun fact about this album, well, not really a fun fact, but something interesting about this album is, you know, Michael Jackson actually wrote, you know, four songs on this album, which did surprise a lot of people out there who I... No, you know, they guessed that he would write more since, you know, between Off the Wall and this album, all of the songs basically feel the same. You know, he worked on like three out of ten tracks on Off the Wall, and he worked on four out of nine on this album, in which it's kind of a decent ratio and somewhat a better one as well. But, you know, it, it can't talk well. But, you know, if you get to his later albums, he actually did write a lot more songs. But, yeah, honestly, I don't really care who wrote the songs and who didn't. This album is still a classic no matter what. Well, it, it can't talk with a lot of my favorite songs on here, like, you know, Thriller, Beat It, Billy Jean, and etc. There are some other songs on this album that I do like, but I just can't really think of them at the moment. And also some of the booklets in these albums that I got are really, you know, big. And they also have a poster in the back of them. Well, not all... Ugh, can't talk! Well, not all of them, but one of them that I will be getting to in a little bit. But this is a pretty big booklet, so this might be a long-ass video, but honestly, I don't really care. I know you can't, I know you can't really read all of this that well since, you know, all of the sentences or whatever are really small and, you know, you have to buy the album for yourself, you know, take the booklet out and open it and look closely at everything, you know, it says to, you know, read it better. It can't talk well to, you know, read it better. You know what I mean. There we go. The next album I got is Q 
Coolio Gangsta's Does Paradise and Witch. This album is from 1995, but I don't know which year the CD was released, though. But if you want to know, just search it up on Google and it will tell you. But yeah. Come on, focus. And my favorite songs on this album are, you know, Gangst Us Paradise, of course, the title track, and which, even though I still like this song, you know, it gets overplayed too much, honestly, on the radio. And, you know, whenever... A song gets overplayed on the radio. You just, you know, change it to a different station since you are since you are getting tired of listening to the same song over and over again and you're ready to listen to something else and so, you know, the same song it plays on four other stations that you change to. And which, you know, I feel like that that's the only song, you know, Coolio is known for, which is pretty sad, you know? He has a lot of other good songs, too. Especially on this album, like Too Hot, and a couple of others. And which, even though, you know, Gangsta's Us Paradise is still a fantastic song, I really do think the radio station sub- Ugh, can't talk well! But honestly, I think the radio station, the radio station should play more of his songs instead of, you know, the same ones over and over and over again. To be honest with you, but yeah.
Now the next album I got is Dr. Dre 2001 and which this album is from 1999 but the CD itself is from 2000. And also, here is somewhat an unpopular opinion. Since, you know, a lot of people I know, they say that The Chronic from 1992 is their favorite album by him. But honestly, I have to say, this album is probably my favorite. And I actually like it a lot more than The Chronic. To be honest with you, I don't know why. It's probably, you know, just that. There's a lot more, you know, songs on this album that I like. Like, you know... Still Dre, which is probably my number one favorite. And also, I like it, you know, more than any of the other songs on this album. You know, I remember around the same time that I heard Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap, the title track from that album... You know, I heard this song when me and my dad were, you know, in the same vehicle on our way to, you know, Walmart to get some groceries. And this song came on the radio and I listened to basically the entire song from the beginning to the end. And I really liked it. So that's what made me and my dad start you know, listening to that song on the radio all the time whenever we would go somewhere. And which we don't really do that as often, you know, as we used to anymore. I mean, we still do, but, you know, we rarely ever do anymore. You know what I mean? But it's not a big deal. And my other favorite songs on this album are What's the Difference featuring Eminem and Exhibit. Um, Forgot About Dre, which fun fact about that song is, you know, a year ago when I was sitting on the bench at the park with one of my real life friends who's a rap fan, just like I am, he actually told me that Eminem wrote that song. So yeah, you know... If you are a rap fan and you wanted to know who wrote Forgot About Dre, there you go. I also like, you know, the next episode in Murder, Inc. is probably the most underrated song on here. You know, it kind of... Let me start over. I forgot something. You know, and... It's really short. It's only like two minutes long, which I hate, honestly, since it has a really cool beat that I like. You know, it's kind of similar to the music that they play in the Halloween movies that goes like, you know, you know, the beat, it's not exactly the same as that, but it's close to being almost the same thing. But the beat in that song goes like did 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 you know what I mean I can't really do it that well and there are some other good songs on this album but I just can't really think of them at the moment once again Damn, the disc was a pain in the ass to get out a little bit there, but I finally managed to get it out. Thank God.
shit. I forgot to put the disc back in again. God, I'm losing my mind today. Shit. Sorry about that. The phone fell out of my hand. Now just bear with me for a couple of minutes since this booklet is a pain in the ass to fold back together. There we go. It actually took, you know, less than two minutes to do that. Really did surprise me since whenever I would pull that booklet out, back when my dad had this CD, it would always be a pain in the ass to, you know, fold and put it and get it back in you know what I mean I don't even know why I said put it I'm just saying random ass shit today you know I do that a lot sometimes where you know when I don't really have you know something else to say I'll just say random things out of nowhere that make more sense I know that's weird, but, and that's just me. The next album I got, and also the last CD I got, is the Notorious B.I.G. Born Again. Come on, focus!
you know what, fuck it. I'm not going to waste this entire video trying to get the camera on my phone to focus on the spine. You know, I just want to get this video done and over with as soon as possible. I met as fast as possible. Not as soon as possible, but whatever. And surprisingly, I haven't listened to any of the other songs on this album except for one, and that's Notorious B.I.G., which is a pretty good song. But I still have to, you know, listen to the whole album someday to see what I think of it. But yeah. Now this is the one with the poster on the back of it. Like I said earlier in the video. Now just hold on for like a couple of minutes since you know it will be a while until I get this booklet back in. Due to it being too long. And it's a pain the ass to get back together and get it back in, you know. the case. There we go. Didn't take long at all. Thank God. And damn it. I forgot to put the disc back in for like the first time in a row there. I'm just not even thinking about, you know, putting the discs back in at all today. God. Now on to the DVDs. And which these next two are both movies about Tupac. And which I have not seen either one of these movies yet. But 
I do plan on checking them out soon to see what I think of them. But since I do like Tupac, these were still really cool Christmas gifts. And the back of the chapter index is blank, so I'm not going to bother. Ugh, so I'm not going to bother showing the back of it. Now here is the last DVD I got. I also have not seen this movie either. But I have heard of it though. And I will have to give this film a watch. Probably after Christmas. To see what I think of it. You know, if I don't like this film, then I will return it back to Game Exchange, you know, with the receipt and trade it in for something else. If I see something else there, I'll just get that, you know, for a trade in. You know what I mean. And also, hold on a second, I'm going to go turn on the light real quick, since it's starting to get a little dark in here, you can barely see, you know, the stuff I got. There we go. So now you will probably be able to see the things I got better. Now on to the other stuff I got. Next up I got, you know, this huge ass notebook that has like, well over 125 pages in it to where, you know, you can draw pictures or write a story in this, whatever you want to write, you know. I'm mostly just going to use this for, you know, writing down reasons on why I don't like a certain topic that I'm going to rant on. Since, you know, before when I would use these, when I would do rants, you know, mentioning reasons on why I don't like whatever I'm ranting on. I wouldn't even think of some of the other reasons on why I don't like the topic. And so, once I would be finished with the video and I would upload it to YouTube, I would, you know, realize that I forgot that I forgot to mention some things. 
So nowadays I just write, you know, the reasons down in these huge ass notebooks. So, you know, I won't forget any of the reasons. And I also don't want to be just sitting there wasting the entire video, you know, trying to think of more reasons why I don't like whatever I'm ranting on. Like, you know, uh, you know what I mean. Next up. I got some new bed sheets and which I'm not going to unzip this and pull the sheets out since, you know, they're too long. Why am I saying that? Of course they're going to be too long since a bed is long as fuck. You know, it's something you sleep in and you have to have sheets on it to, you know, be comfortable. You know what I mean? And it would also take forever, like, you know, 15 minutes or so to get the sheets back in. So, yeah. Next up. I got this shit. You know, this is two and one hair and body wash this right here is i believe just body wash and this is free in one hair face and body wash and which i have to say this probably will be some good ass shit for me to use whenever i take a shower so when i go out in public i can smell good for all of the ladies yeah. <clears throat> Next up, <clears throat> I got this light right here, and which it's basically a light that you use for YouTube where you hook it up, you turn it on, and you put your phone in that holder right there to, you know, make the lighting better in your videos. Like, brighter lighting to where everyone can see everything in better quality and also in brighter light as well you know what i mean and which i don't know if i will use this or not but i will see once i do some more videos where i show my face and now i'm going to get to all of the stuff I got in my stocking. Sorry, there was just something on the floor that I had to, you know, move out of the way. First up, I got, you know, a four-pack of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I got some Extreme Sour Sour Patch Kids. I got a vintage stock gift card, which I'm probably just going to use to get DVDs and CDs there. And CDs there, yeah. And I'm not going to show the back of both of these, you know, gift cards since they have some personal information on the back of them that only me and my family should see. And I got a Big Lots gift card in which I don't really go to Big Lots that much. 
but I do once in a while, so I'm probably just going to spend this on some movies from there. I got a blue raspberry redhead. A green apple flavor. And a cherry flavor. And, yeah, that's pretty much all the shit in my stocking I'm going to show, since I don't really feel like pulling all of the other shit out. And which, you know, maybe once I do my video tomorrow showing the, you know, late Christmas presents that I got from both my uncle and my cousin tomorrow, then maybe I'll show the rest of the stuff in here. I'll just have to see. <clears throat> and now on to the one hat I got in the shirts. First up, I got a Houston Astros hat. And I got a some a supreme shirt with you know Tupac on it. Pretty fucking cool. I got a Biggie Smalls shirt. Pretty nice as well. I got a ACDC high voltage shirt with, you know, their album cover on it. Pretty damn awesome. And the last thing I got for Christmas this year is a... Wet shirt, pretty damn nice for when you know I'm at the park walking there with one of my friends in the cold ass sweater. I can 
put this on to keep me warm. So, yeah. So, basically, that pretty much does it for this video. And I will do, you know, a part two tomorrow when I get my late Christmas gifts from my cousin and my uncle, like I said at the beginning of the video. But yeah, you know, stay tuned for that and see you all later. Goodbye and have a good one, all of you.